Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with my skincare fave Why do I do like this? My skincare favorites of 2019 and as you know I love skincare so so much I love to test new things and I love when I find a product that is like this is the best thing I have ever used this year I have been on the low buy as you know and with skincare I have been really good if I can say that myself I have just like bought new things when the things I have is empty so a new cleanser when my cleanser is empty and a new day cream when my day cream is empty and I got a little friend here a little visitor Elsa is here with me I don't think so. she's so happy but I was here first she came so yeah it's my cat if you don't know so okay my skincare favorites and I think I will start with cleansers then going to tonics tonic facial tone a toner tonic toner and yeah we just start. So, I have had two favorite cleanser this year. We can start with one. When I have used makeup, I do a double cleanse. And I have done this this whole year. And I think I did it last year as well. So, I have two cleansers. And the first one is this from the body shop. This is the Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. And this is the best thing ever to take away makeup it is a little bit more expensive but not too expensive and it takes away everything i <laughs> have used maybe four of these this year okay maybe not i think three of them and you know what uh, this is empty i really love this and it doesn't irritate eyes that is like the best thing with this so this takes away everything. I loved this last year. I have loved it since the first time I used it. I'm going to continue buying these because these are the best cleansing batteries I have ever tried. So if you want something that takes away everything. Everything. Test this. This is so good. The other cleanser is also from Body Shop and it's the Drops of Light. Light? Light? light uh, this is my second tube and this is a pure clarifying foam wash so this comes out like a cream and then when it comes in contact with water it's a foam i love this and you use such an insy tiny tiny bit of it and this is so good i usually use it with this one so i wet my face take a little piece eye on this one dot it onto my face and then i go with this and i feel so refreshed so clean but not dry maybe i should have said this in the beginning but i have dry skin dry to normal in the winter it's pretty dry into the summer it's more normal but it's still on the drier side and i have turned 30 so yeah that's my skin type i should have started with that so yeah, I think I'm going to continue buying this and I have loved to use my Foreo with this one. If you don't know what this is, this is a cleansing tool. So you wet this and then you put it on and it vibrates. And then you take it onto your face. And I really love this. I have had this for three years, I think. I have charged it three times. <laughs> so one time a year. So I really love this and Frio is a Swedish brand. I love this one. This is a Frio Luna Mini I think. It was such a long time ago since I bought it. I know that there is a lot of similar things now but I can really recommend one of these. Um, I think they're really good. These Frios are a little bit pricey but it's totally worth the money. It looks as fresh as it did when I bought it three years ago. Or maybe it was four years ago. I can't remember. <laughs> but it looks still as fresh. It works amazing still. So yeah. Love this. So that was the two cleaning things. Cleaning things. My two cleansers. The favorite 
toner I've had this year is this one from Lumine. This is my third bottle as well. I love this. I use it both as a toner and also to take away my eye makeup. If uh, I usually start with this to take away my eye makeup so I don't get like black everywhere from my mascara. And then take the butter from Body Shop. And also if I have... When I clean up my fallouts I use this and also take away my lipsticks because this you can use on your lips as well. This is amazing. It doesn't sting my eyes at all. It's, it is so good. So I use this to take away makeup residues and also and also toner. Sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night time, sometimes both. Uh, I really really love this and this is my third bottle or fourth. I don't know. But this one is amazing. I love this so much and I keep buying it over and over again. Then I'm thinking about going into my next step and I, because I'm dry, I'm using a hydration mist and 2019 I fell in love with this. This is Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. Yes, this is empty. This is my second bottle. I love this. This is so freaking good. It is though a little bit expensive and <laughs> it runs out pretty fast but I love this so much. This is absolutely the best hydration mist I have ever tried. I love this and this has been a big favorite this year. My favorite serum of this year. I have tried a lot of different serums but I don't know when it was. Maybe in October I tried a serum that I have had for a long time in my drawer and I fell in love after the first time and it is the Drops of Youth from Body Shop. I love this. This is a little bit thicker and it is just amazing. This is my second, second bottle that I got in my advent calendar and I am so happy for this because this is a little bit more expensive but it's totally worth the money. It feels so good. It feels amazing and I think my skin, my skin has always been good but this, since I started to use this one, it has been amazing. So I really really like this and I will continue buying this. So this has been like not only the best serum of this year, this has been the best serum of always. It's a favorite. I want to have it for, for well, eternity. I love this. And then my favorite <laughs> face cream is from the same line and it is the Drops of Youth Youth Cream. And I use this both in morning and in nights and it looks like this. I really like the consistency. It is pretty like, it's a little bit cooling. It really sinks into the skin really really fast and it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's not thick but it's not thin. Just it's amazing. So this has absolutely been my favorite cream of this year. Love it so much. And then into my favorite eye cream. And <laughs> I have been like, eye cream doesn't make any difference at all until I found this one. This is my second jar and I can't remember when I bought it the first time but I think it maybe was in March. And it is Lumiene's Nordic Ageless eye cream. First of all, I love the jar of this and it looks like this and this is also <laughs> like the day cream. It's not too thick, it's not too thin and it feels really really good under the eyes and I I love this. I have stopped testing other eye creams because I think this is so good. I really love it and I can really recommend it. I don't know if it does anything different but it feels really good so my absolute favorite eye cream for this year and for all eternity. Okay I don't know what to go in with next. Maybe I should do masks. And this was so hard because I have fallen more in love with the sheet mask this year but I'm like okay I'm going to take two masks this year that I really loved. The first one is a pretty strong mask that I don't think I maybe can use it one more time but I'm not sure about it because it's like almost empty and that is 
Peel and Polish from Pixi. This makes me feel so fresh. It doesn't sting. It tingles a little bit, but it doesn't sting. I feel really fresh and it doesn't make me dry. So this is an enzyme peel and I love that. And if you have a dry skin as, as I do, enzyme peel is the best. Really love this so so much. This has been the most that I've used most this year. I use it two times a week and I really really love it. And the other mask is it's another thing from Foreo and this is a UFO and this is the UFO mini and this is sheet masks going fast. I bought this this summer and you connect this with your phone and then you put on the little sheet mask here and then you put this ring over, I've talked about this before and then you scan with your phone which mask you have and then you start this and this gets warm, it's vibrate and it has LED lights and it is so nice. It's in the mask it's like 90 seconds up to two minutes I think. I think most of them are 90 seconds and I love this. I have tested five different I think. I love all five of them. All the <laughs> masks I can leave down in the description. All masks and this has been amazing. I really love this. I am so happy that I bought it. It is pretty expensive but I really love it and for like a geek a skincare geek is me. This is amazing. I don't know how easy it is to get for Rio out in the world. I have no idea, but I guess it's pretty easy. So, if you want something bougie, if you want to spoil yourself a little bit and you love skincare, try this. And okay, two more things. And these are two little extra things. One is a lip cream, and this is from UA, and this is the overnight conditioning and repairing lip mask. I love this one. This looks pretty, pretty nasty. It looks like this. This I use like every night um, on my lips and my lips hasn't cracked a single time this year or since I started to use this. So this is my absolute favorite lip masks. It's like almost the only one I've tried but this is so good, it's vegan and I really love it. Then the last thing, or maybe I should take one more thing as well. The last product at least is, this is maybe so boring, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but this is a cream. This is called Loco Base Repair. I think this is a Swedish thing or Danish. I don't know, but yeah, Danish. This you buy at pharmacies in Sweden and this is a cream for very dry skin. And I use this for everything. <laughs> I use this for my ears and I used it when I stretch my nose. I have had like a super dry patch on my eye. I used it for that. This is amazing and I have had this a couple of years. Different tubes, yes. And this is like the best cream ever. So if you live in Sweden or in the Nordics, I guess, and need a good cream, buy this. This is like this no perfume, no per, no perfume. Uh, it's super aller allergy friendly. It's like a clean cream. It just gives you moisture. It is amazing. And the last thing I want to talk about, and I think you maybe know what it is, it's this year I have started to shave my face. And first I was like, okay, I don't want to do that because my peach fuzz bugs me a little bit, but not that much. But then I tried it and I love it. So I have started to shave my face this year and I can really recommend it. If you want to, you don't need to. I have never been like ashamed of my hairy face but it's just like the skin looks more refreshed um, the makeup is laying better on top of your skin for me it was like the powder gets stuck on all my little hairs all over my face and 
I really love to shave my face, so I think I'm going to continue to do that next year as well. The hair doesn't grow out more darker or more or thicker or anything. I really like it. So yeah, I think that was all of my favorite skincare of 2019. I really hope you liked this video and I think this is going to be the end of my favorites of 2019 little series. I think this is number... Four? It must be number four. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!